Welcome to a new episode of my Linux driver tutorials. Today I want to show you how to use completions in Linux kernel modules or Linux drivers. So let's start. But what are completions? Well, completions are a mechanism for synchronizations of threads. You can use a completion if you want to ensure a thread or the reception of data has completed before you continue in your code. Completions are commonly used in asynchronous communications, such as UART. For example, if you're using UART, you don't know the exact time when you will receive data. So let's say you have triggered the device to send you some data and you want to synchronize with it and wait for the data to be transferred and then continue your code. And for this, you can use a completion. But let me show you this in a small example. So here you can see I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH. And now let me navigate into my Linux driver tutorials folder. So here you can see the various kernel modules and Linux drivers I've already written in the series. And I will use 8timer as a template for today's video. Because instead of an asynchronous communication, which would need quite a lot of code to set everything up, I will use a timer instead, just for demonstration purposes. And let, now let me create a new folder I will call 29completion. So let me navigate into this folder and let's take a look what's inside here. So we have the C source code for the Linux kernel module and we have a make file to build it. The first thing I will do is I will rename the kernel module from my timer to mycompletion.c. And of course I have um, to change the make file as well to be able to build the kernel module. Okay. Okay. So let's open up the source code and let's take a look what's in here. So this was a very simple example for timers. So here I have a callback function and this timer callback function is called by a timer and it will turn off a GPIO which was configured as output. We don't need the whole GPIO code here, so let me remove it. Yes, and up here we have this include Linux slash GPIO. We don't need it as well, but instead I will include Linux slash completion to have all the functions required for the completion. And let's change the module description as well. So this is a simple test for completions. Okay. So here we have our timer callback function. And please think of this callback function as, a, as a interrupt service routine, for example, which is called when your data is received. So in this case, I will print out something to the kernel's log. So I will print out my completion um, timer expired. And then and yeah, that's the callback. So to be able to use a completion, I have to declare a global variable from the type struct completion and I will call it comp. In the init function, I have to initialize the completion first. So let's do this. Therefore, I will use the function init completion and I have to pass a pointer to my completion struct. Okay. And here, when the timer callback is executed, I will use the complete function to set the completion. So this will indicate the timer callback has completed and after the completion was set, the code can continue. So then here I'm starting my timer and let's say the timer should expire after 40 milliseconds. And now I will use, I need a status variable. And now I will use the function um, wait for completion timeout to wait for the completion to complete. And as a second, um, value or as a second argument here, I can pass a timeout here in Chiffy's and I will use a timeout of 100 milliseconds. So in case, um, 
the return value is zero, we got a timeout. In case the status is bigger than zero, the completion completed before the timeout. And in this case, so if the completion didn't complete within the timeout value, I will um, print out my completion completion timed out. But as our timer will expire in 40 milliseconds and our completion will wait for 100 milliseconds, we won't get into this if statement here. Okay, and let's do the same thing a second time, but this time the timer will expire after 400 milliseconds. To reuse our completion, I have to reinit the completion. And I can do this with the function reinit completion. And then let me just copy these four lines here. And this time the timer will expire after 400 milliseconds. But the timeout will stay 100 milliseconds, and so this time we will get into this if statement here and it will print out my completion completion timed out. Okay, here in the exit function, all I will do is I will delete my timer and that's it. And maybe let's print out something here. So start the timer the first time and time is 40 milliseconds and down here I will print out the so dots timer for the second time and the timeout is 400 milliseconds this time. Okay, so let me try to compile this module here with make. Okay, this looks good. So let me load the kernels module. Let's check the kernels log. Okay, so we are starting the timer for the first time and the timer expires after 40 milliseconds. This looks good. Then we are starting the timer for the second time, this time with 400 milliseconds. The completion times out after 100 milliseconds, which was expected, and then the timer expires. So yeah, this is how completions work. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.